let's continue with the debugging session the program just been downloaded and as I mentioned let us set a breakpoint over here when I say now let us say run you can see the processor has stopped here the execution now when I say now run it comes and halts here so this is a statement we are telling to make port 1 as a output port not the entire port only the bit 0 only the bit 0 so when I say now step over you can see here is a port A uh, you may get surprised here we are uh, using here as a port 1 and here as a port A uh, this assignment has been given in a header file that MSP 430 header file will have the definitions saying that port 1 is nothing but port A of a microcontroller so you can see the first uh, bit has become 1 that means that particular bit is output port and exactly if you see the LED over here this is connected one of them to port 1 bit 0 this another LED is connected to port 4 bit 7 there are two LEDs are there one is a green and another one is a red now first time the port 1 output values you can see is all of them are 0 that means the existing content of the port is 0 0 0 we are taking this and we are making a XR operation so this XR you know which is going to toggle how just see here now is a simple XR gate operation like 0 with 1 is going to be 1 and 0 with 0 or 1 with 1 is going to be 0 that means these all bits is going to be 0 and this bit from 0 it will change to 1 that means we are taking a value of port 1 it's at, at present it is 0 and then we are XRing with the value of bit 0 bit 0 is nothing but as I mentioned 0 0 0 0 like 7 zeros followed by the 1 so we are trying to XR this one so what happens in the next step then we get final answer as a 0 1 this value will be assigned to port 1 and you can see here the changes yeah this is a 1 and also you can see the LED the red LED is now on okay so now what happens is it's an infinite loop again the processor go back to this while loop from while loop again it has to come back to this statement again at present the value of port 1 is what is a 0 1 that means the value of port 1 is at present is 0 1 so when you expand again in binary it's a 7 zeros followed by the 1 and the bit 0 value is nothing but again 7 zeros followed by the 1 so when we do now XR operation as I mentioned 0 with 0 or 1 with 1 is 0 that means we get 8 zeros that means the bit 0 is going to be now 0 so this one is going to be 0 this value will be assigned to port 1 you can see the LED as well as this value is a LED and the value can see it's off now so when you run it you can see it toggles between 0 and 1 you can see the LED is flashing so in this exercise we used two functions like bitwise R to set a particular value and bitwise exclusive R see if you don't use this bitwise functions we may need to do with assignment operators let me just show how to be do that one say so I say port 1 direction is nothing but 
this value into hex that means 0 x 0 1 okay we are setting the last bit as a output bit and then uh, we don't need to use the XR statements let me just show you like port 1 out is nothing but let me say now 0 x 0 0 that means first I am making as a 0 then port 1 out equals 0 x 0 1 then I am making that bit as a 1 just save this file and then go for compiling obviously there is no error you may notice that we disable I mean we com uh, commented these lines only these lines are into now operation so click on debug now the program is being downloaded and you can see there is a debugging server which tries to communicate with your USB and see yeah, this is an indication that your program is being downloaded into the launch pad then as I mentioned you may set a breakpoint just simply double clicking here there's a breakpoint has been set here and first time you have to run or even you can go into step over it's not a problem see if your program is having many lines if you want to debug you have to just set a breakpoint into the line where you want to stop run until that line that means the program is executed up to this line then you can go into the step by step execution mode now you can see step over and this is about the point as you can see the direction register already set to 1 and output is already 0 so you may not notice any changes for this statement now but you can see the second statement and as well as the LED and see this is the same statement there are two statements here but here we are carrying out with only help of one XR statement so that's the advantage when we use the bitwise operators the code size get reduced as we are aware already in microcontroller based systems the size of the memory is very small the program memory so we have to write short code in order to save the code space and also to provide a better coding we have to also use a lot of bitwise operations and this is like a toggling bitwise R to set a particular value and also bitwise AND to clear a particular value this kind of bitwise operations we have to use it in our embedded system programming hope you enjoy this video session Thanks for watching.